damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed oh. off. Oh, Max. <laughs> hey. The last time I saw you this mad was when you dropped your phone in the Lake Champlain. Lost all my best picks. <laughs> I heard about what happened. Fucking crazy. You know? Here of all places. You and Safi were pretty close, huh? She was the best friend I've had in a long time. Shit. I can't even imagine. Two of you always seemed like you were having a blast together. What's on your mind? Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean, I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. Yeah, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Whoa. Very Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. Shit's all yours if you want it. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key Abraxas virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? An eye for detail, huh? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. <laughs> and? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> All right, catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Reggie's a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good kid. Reminds me of a few old friends. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? 
This kind of art isn't really my thing. Unless it's the subject of a photo. This piece must weigh a ton, but it's barely touching the ground. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. Were you left here on purpose? Unfold me? I might not be able to fold it back. Where is this going? I see. It's a haiku. I wonder who made this. on each shoulder. Wonder which one's the devil. The thing is, Thomas, pondering what might be will drive you insane. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us. All been so scary, you know? It's exactly why I'm here. To help everyone feel- Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? If we all just knew about- That's Loretta... something. Seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Doesn't look like she's getting the scoop she wanted. Sorry, I'm not- She's gone. This feels so surreal. These damn things are all over campus. Except where Safi actually needed one. Safi's murder brought the whole campus to a standstill. It touched everybody. Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. Way to be a combo breaker. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. Yasmin keeps her own cover issue in her office waiting room. 
A real girl boss move. Even waiting for Yasmin is a luxury experience. Really giving me expensive car dealership vibes. I can't imagine what I could do to make you feel better, Yasmin. But I'll do my best. Finn Lang. Total mystery. What kind of title is Administrative Assistant, anyway? Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Listen. I'm I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. We playing today? Nah, DM canceled. That girl that died was his TA, so they gave him the day off. He's going camping. Man, I wanna go camping. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. Never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. These are all by current or former faculty? Now I feel like a slacker. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. And for obvious reasons, now I don't think there will be. Nothing makes you feel alone, like a chair made for two. Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Safi's mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down the hall? Maybe I can help. Gwen.
Gwen? All good? Uh... Max... I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins? Boom. Bad reputation, twins. This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. This is definitely easier than breaking into the case. Everyone, students, faculty, staff, would benefit from a shortened work. Gwen? I, uh, found another copy of your book in the stacks. Will that work instead? Oh, uh, thanks, Max. It's just, uh... Well, it's just the one in the case is the 10th anniversary edition. It has a new introduction from the author. Hey, you need the one in the case? You got it. Expensive display, cheap lock. You love to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. That pin looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Thanks for nothing, Caledon Campus Security. Too little, too late. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha! Skinny and curved. That's actually kind of perfect. Hold on now, you might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! 
Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? She was happy about something, but she wouldn't tell us what it was. Typical Safi. Yeah, God, that girl and her fucking secrets. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and... I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... Difficult? Did she tell you that? I don't know if she ever said it in so many words, but... I kind of gathered that you two didn't always get along. Was it so obvious? <sighs> Pity. I'm sorry you were exposed to that side of our relationship. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy... and hopeful.
I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Sofia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Sofi? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. Yasmin got to see Sofi's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. We should set a time to do more thorough preparations as well. Signed, Yasmin. I had no idea she painted. It's not terrible, but it's a good thing she kept her day job. Yasmin was so proud of Safi. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. Damn, Yasmin. And I barely finished my GED. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Don't tell me we're becoming friends. Oh, friends at least. Maybe with a few benefits. Oh, oh, oh yeah? Such as? Such as fetching packages from down the hall. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Finn's always up to something shady. Gotta keep an eye on him. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm. This sounds interesting. Well, I'm I'm sure the police know that already, even if I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call. 
Uh, Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Um, maybe? Tell me a little about it first. Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. The human condition. You get it. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um... You're asking about Safi? Why? It's a reasonable question, considering you were the last person to see her alive. I... Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. I'm not, like, aware of Safi using her mom's position like that. Not on purpose, for sure. Just accidental nepotism. Gotcha. Think it was enough to piss somebody off? Seems like Safi rubbed a few people the wrong way. How should I know? Go talk to somebody who's been here longer than six months. Got any suggestions? Names? I've got a hunch Finn Lang knows a lot more than he's letting on. Interesting. Good lead. That'll do for now, I think. Thanks, Miss Caulfield. Screw you, too. It's a shame. I was so looking forward to being terrorized by St. Nick's shriveled mutant sidekick. Here for me to question the wisdom of our great Vin. But why are we handing out roses for some dead chick? No one even seems to want one. Not our standard Abraxas mission, but at least it doesn't involve some kind of farm animal. I'm not gonna question it. Is that a... penguin head in the spokes? Of course. Nothing can happen on campus without some kind of Abraxas commentary. These are pretty extra, but I think Safi would have appreciated that. Oh, uh, I hope you like the rose. It's beautiful. Thanks. Oh, well, hello there. Which mailbox did you fall out of? Looks like somebody's been passing notes in class. Of course, the sender doesn't put a name on it. Okay, who are you, DGH? That's the literature chair. Wrong initials, though. 
There isn't even a D in this name. Not DGH. Gwen Hunter, PhD. Dr. Gwen Hunter, DGH. Wait a sec. This is about that book that got moved to the display case. So the book Gwen needed had a message inside it. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. Too little, too late. And I thought Amanda couldn't get any cuter. If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. Stories? More like rumors and gossip. Didn't catch much of Gwen's phone call thanks to Loretta. Maybe something in here could tell me more. Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. I can trust you. Don't you think they should have told us something by now? About the murder? Whoa. Who said anything about murder? The email said there was a death. I heard she was strangled. Scratch marks on her neck and everything. May we all one day aspire to be as happy as a burgeoning goth kid with his first skull balloon. Not only does it look like Amanda, we even got her hair buns. She's probably lots of students' muse. Amazing. Like most places, Lakeport is a lot more complicated than it appears. You know, despite that art prankster at large, I think this one is actually right side up. I'll bet they've got quite an eye for photography. Three of them, even. What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going? Ugh, oh, I can't even look at this right now. My old stuff is just cringe. Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that... Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. Sky cat attacks. So, scratch marks? You mean like from talons? Big scary talons? Come on, I never said that. Like mock. Is this what the kids mean when they talk about TikTok? Moses seemed really torn up earlier.
Poor Moses. He seems so out of it. I don't even think he got his hot chocolate. Maybe I could bring Moses that hot chocolate. Hey, can I get a hot chocolate? For Moses, right? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. I wonder if Moses forgot his hot chocolate. Here you go. It's on the house. Thank you. Really. Here. To warm you up. All right. I totally forgot. Thanks. I don't even know where to start. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell, but we're both here now, and we're going to get through. I just, I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner, or called her when she didn't come back. Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting, but words, words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. Jeez, Lucas. Your class must be freezing. 
periphery, beyond the Jeez, what a dick. It peels. Max. Good to see you. Who knew you were so self centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well, and I don't completely get poetry, you know? It's not my medium. But Safi made it seem cool. Because that's how she saw it. And the way Safi saw things was infectious. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. I'd like to open this up to anyone else who wants to say it. For when outside hates you, like now. A particular. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? Writer's workshop. Here if you need anything. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Legend says that if you give Facebox Man a little smooch, he gets seven years of good luck. Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi too. I get what you two have. Poor Moses. He really hasn't been the same since that night. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting him up? Honestly, kinda. In a stomping on your Barbies while pretending to be Godzilla kind of way. Y you know that's not a universal childhood experience, right? Well, maybe it should be. <laughs> hey, I have a question about Sophie. Okay. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah? I'm going to use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. 
A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more attack. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? No way answering the nosy kid reporter's questions will come back to bite me. Double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowballs down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Where is that other Moses going? Gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Other Moses going. What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our Coco. Safi? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five star rating to teach you. 
can't believe Max would stand me up. You're supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you would charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. 